So hi there, in this video we are going to show you the most requested modern jive move that we always get asked to teach. We're Karen and Lucy from Ginger Jive and we've been teaching modern jive dance classes since the early 90s. Now if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification that will keep you up to date with all of our other videos. Also if you're doing the move just check out the disclaimer to the side or in the video description below. So what's the move? It is of course the first move pivot. Now you can do it just going round on the spot or you can do it whilst you move round the dance floor as well. So stay tuned, we're going to show you how to teach it from both lead and follow and let's get to it. The first move pivots. So the first move pivot got to say it's one of my favourite moves. It's inspired by a ballroom pivot and it's sometimes called a penguin because where the feet stay close to the floor and it, uh, you just end up waddling like a penguin, hence the name. So it's called a, a couple of other different things probably as well, but those are the two main names that we've used in Modern Jive. Now it starts like a normal first move. So for those of you that are onto this video for the first time, we'll just quickly go over a first move. We're going to take a step back with our left hand to your followers right. As I draw Lucy into my side, I'm going to place my right hand on her hip and my left hand's going to come up to my left shoulder. Now from here, I'm going to pull back round with my right hand, push down across my body with my left, and I'm going to pivot Lucy out to the side like an ordinary first move. Now I know some of you have been coming to the classes and following us along with the other videos that we've got uh, will already know this part up to here. So from here though, what the leaders needs to do, you need to take your left foot behind. So you've pivoted, your, turned your partner out, and you take your left foot back as well. Now we get into the pivot part. What you're going to do is as I step forward, my natural step is going to be my left foot. Lucy's natural step is going to be her right foot and as I draw her in I'm going to draw her in close to my body and I'm going to step in so we're square on we're not we're not center square on we're just off center a little bit and my right foot can go between her feet and Lucy's right foot can go between my feet so from here that's where we need to be so just take your partner out if you're following us along as you take a step in to that position, the weight will naturally be on the leader's left foot, the follower's right foot. And that is beat one of six. And all we're going to do, if we do it on the spot, all you're going to do is transfer the weight over to the other side. So over to the right for two, to your left on three, back across right four, five, six. So you're just going to the side to side. Now, because the weight is on the leader's right and the, and the follower's left, it means we can turn our partners out to the side back into that first move position again. To finish the move off, I'm going to draw Lucy forward to prepare her for that free spin. I let go of my left hand, guide her through with my right to spin her on the spot, catching with whichever hand you wish to. Step in, returning our partners anti-clockwise, taking a step back at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk round, just doing it on the spot to get used to the move from the follower's point of view. So we're going to offer our right hand and stepping away. Now the leader's going to pull us in and we're just going to take a step forward. We're not going to start turning. We're still going the same way that we face. Now from here, you're going to leave the weight on your left foot. And as your partner pushes down to turn you, you're going to take a step back onto the right foot. Now that weight's on the right, there's no weight on the left. Now as your partner pulls you in and he brings you in off centre, as you can see my right foot is between my partners and my left is out to the side. So to start with we're just doing it on the spot to get you used to it. Now have a slight bend in the knee because that will cut out you bobbing from side to side. You want to be up straight and try and keep it on the same level. So that's step one. One, replace the weight onto the left for the followers, two, right, three and four, five and six. From here, your partner pushes down to turn you out. You go back onto that right foot. Now, I like to do a triple step exit out of here. So as we come forward, we do three little steps. If you do any ballroom or anything, you can lock the steps behind. So I like to go one, two, three. Then as Karen pushes on the back, one, two, three, and catch. 
from here we get stepped in can get a little bit dizzy going round and around so we're going to go anti-clockwise to help combat that and step back so we're nearly there we're nearly ready to put that turn in but before we do we're just going to do the technique on the spot so it will look like this we're going to step back stepping in out to the side and one two three four five six rock back forward push through and catch return and back so here we go we're going to get that turn in now and then we need to change the lead slightly up until this point what's happened is uh, we step in and we're square on with our partners and that's just to get the practice of changing weight from side to side now we're getting the lead in uh, for the pivot we need to step in front of our partners and don't forget the lead arm is this right hand that's behind your partner's back so as I step in front of Lucy I step in front of her and literally pass her so as you can see I've crossed her path and I've blocked her the way she was going now with this right hand I continue to pull round with this right hand as we now continue to transfer the weight from our left to our right so we're just going to transfer the weight round like I said this left hand doesn't actually do anything it's not uh, part of the lead at all it's all part of this right hand that's on your partner's well, shoulder blade so from here after you've done your six steps you can then turn your partner out to the side and then we can finish the move off with that uh, free turn so putting all that into action it's going to look like this for the first move we step back and step in out to the side then we go one two three four five six out to the side forward through and catch return and back now as you can see we did the circle pretty much on the spot as we went round now if you want to extend that and go further around the room obviously if you're doing this video at home make sure you've got enough space around you all you do is you just step with your left foot that's the leaders out to the side a little bit further so as uh, as I bring Lucy into our first move I go a little bit further with my left foot come round I now go forward again a little bit further with my left foot I come round I go further again with my left foot and come round so you just take a bit more of a bigger step to get a little bit more of a circle now either way is fine you can either have a tight circle or you can go around the room a little bit more either or is just down to your personal preference but it is one of my favorite moves it does require a little bit of practice guys or leaders you'll know if you're doing it right for, for two reasons one is your partner your follower will either, will either be screaming or they'll be giggling so one of those two one of those two reasons but have a little bit of fun with it and thank you for watching us thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon in the next video bye